Okay, party people. It's the weekend and we're learning immunology. Awesome. Okay, so we learned about, in general, how a PAMP um, can bind to the PRR and after a few steps, that antigen uh, number one will be loaded into our MHC. Now there are two big classes of MHC and the ones that are found on these antigen presenting cells are in, and in, are in charge of loading up the antigen and activate helper T cells. They are called MHC class two. So over in the corner, I have a description of class one. Just don't pay attention to that for now. That's for later. Okay, so what happens is the helper T cells have a specific receptor on their surface and they're called the T cell receptor. Actually, all T cells have a T cell receptor on it. Um, and so we label this as TCR. This TCR is specific for antigen number one. So if we had antigen number two, let's say, loaded up in the MHC class two, we would need a different TCR and a different helper T cell. So one helper T cell, one kind of T cell receptor, which fits one pairing of antigen plus MHC class two. Okay, so it's really important to know that once these helper T cells are activated, what they do is um, they're signaled to divide and say, hey, we need more of these helper T cells. But then the big thing that happens is that they release immune signals. And we call immune signals cytokines. And there are lots of different kinds of cytokines. They can do lots of different things depending on the conditions that they're activated in. So we have cytokines that can suppress the immune response, cytokines that can promote B cells and antibodies, and cytokines that can um, promote uh, the killing of infected cells via the killer T cells. So it's really important to note this right here, helper cells don't directly activate other immune cells. So when they release this, these uh, cytokines, there's no like binding of the helper T cell to another cell. No, it's, they just release these signals and these signals are what bind to other immune cells, other T cells, and activate them, or B cells, whatever they may be. So remember, direct activation between an antigen presenting cell and a helper T cell. Direct means that they actually bind together to get the signal. Helper T cells are indirect activators of other immune cells, and they release immune signals in order to do this. So next time we're gonna talk about uh, different kinds of helper T cells and how um, the release of different pools of cytokines can lead to different kinds of immune responses, which is over there on the right. We'll be back in a moment.